Hey guys, so here we are at the end of January, the first month of 2022, and I thought I'd start a new video series. So at the end of every month, I'm gonna release a kind of wrap up video, um, a January or monthly takeaway video, or I just wanna talk about a few of the things that I'm interested in at the moment, or things that I've been learning over the past month. Um, I'm gonna try and release one at the end of each month. So this month, I'm gonna talk about uh, my favorite piece of tech that I've been using in the last 30 days, my favorite book that I've been reading, a life lesson that I've learned. So it might be big, might be small, we'll see how we go. And then the last thing will be my goals for next month or just a goal for next month. It doesn't have to be multiple goals, but that's what I wanna go through today. So starting off with my favorite piece of tech. So you may have noticed in my more recent videos that I've been having some of this colored fill light in the background and that is from these Aperture MC. So I've got one over here which you can see and then I've got another blue one um, just out of frame over this side and basically they are these little LED uh, panels basically. They come with like these soft soft boxes on the outside definitely blowing me completely out um, but they're really cool they're full RGB you can adjust the brightness, the hue, um, the, the color temperature, all that sort of thing, and you can control it from an app. And they're really, they're really handy devices. Um, I've been watching heaps of lighting tutorials when it comes to video, particularly Brady Bissett. I mentioned him on my um, favorite YouTubers video recently, and I've just really been wanting to uh, kind of like upskill my lighting skill set when it comes to video because I think I'm I'm learning a lot about video. Um, and one of the key things I've realized is that lighting makes a huge difference. I've had this big soft box for a while now um, and I've added in this other sort of rim light, but I'm just sort of wanting to play around and try out new things when it comes to lighting. Um, so I thought these two lights could really help me be a bit more creative with my shots and my lighting and setup and stuff like that. And so far they've been really fun. I've used, used them both on one professional shoot so far and then the rest of the time just for my YouTube videos. Um, I'm not quite sure if I really like the, the colored wash in the background or not. I'm still deciding. <laughs> like I used to just have gray, I think, and then the blue cloud. I kind of like that. Um, and I also like other YouTubers who just have like a gray or sort of a brown um, feel in the background, but not have the sort of more neon color. So let me know what your thoughts are. Do you like these neon colors in the background or not? I'm definitely always open to feedback. But yeah, that's been my favorite piece of tech in the last month. So the next thing is my favorite book that I've been reading in the last month. And I think the, the most interesting book I've read this month is, uh, it's called Start With Why by Simon Sinek. I think it's how you say his last name. Um, and you may have heard of it. I've heard of, I've heard about it quite a long time ago, like maybe five or six years ago, but I just haven't gotten around to reading it. And I actually kind of regret not reading it earlier because it's, it's, it's a really interesting read. Um, and I've taken a lot from it. I think reading it at the start of the year has been really good timing for me because I've been thinking a lot about sort of 2022 and what I want to do with this year and what sort of uh, what my direction is with this YouTube channel and like my job and all that kind of stuff. And so start with why kind of talks about how um, there's lots of different what's in life. So your what could be like your job or um, your passion, your hobby, that sort of thing. But your why is the reason why you choose to do that particular what, if that makes sense. Um, and I think I realized about myself personally that for most of my adult life, I've kind of just uh, tried out a whole bunch of different what's. So, you know, I've tried out YouTube, I've tried out um, doing business and blah, 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 all, this, all these different types of things. And I think that's really good. I'm glad that I have because it's given me so much um, experience and helped me figure out what I don't like, if that makes sense. But now that I feel like um, what I do like is becoming clearer, I want a clearer why I'm doing it. If that, if that makes any sense. Um, and so this book is really helping me, I think, to clarify why I wanna do these things and the reason, the reasons and motivations behind them, if that makes sense. So I've been spending quite a lot of time thinking about it and it's it's, it's really exciting me. It, it's, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this year, I think, because I think the more I clarify why I'm doing what I'm doing, the more passionate I will be about it and I'll be able to really sink my teeth into it. And I'm hoping that this YouTube channel will be part of that. So um, yeah, it's a really good book. If you're interested in sort of figuring out what your purpose in life is um, or just sort of um, solidifying your own business skills, it's quite a practical business book or 
anything like that really. Highly recommend it. I've got maybe two chapters to go, so it could fall apart, but so far it's, it's a really good book. Highly recommend it. So the next thing is a life lesson that I have learnt this month. I was thinking about it. I think it, it relates kind of directly to start with why, but I was listening to an Ali Abdul podcast recently and his guest uh, mentioned how she believes you can live a meaningful life. I thought that was interesting and she basically said that the way to live a meaningful life is to live in alignment with your values. And I, I've heard this before, but I think thinking about it in relation to start with why and, your, and the why behind what you, what you do, I think it really resonated with me and it made me think about how when I don't live in alignment with my values, I do feel quite frustrated and that's that was kind of her point. When you don't live in line in, in line with your value system, when you live outside of that, you feel most frustrated and unfulfilled and, and that kind of thing, unmotivated. And I was thinking about my like, yeah, that's definitely me. Like over the last probably two years even, one of the one of my values, one of the things I really wanna see in my own life is just to sort of bring general positivity into into the world. And over the last two years, I've become a bit negative, I think because of, you know, the state of the world and every, all, the, all, all the things that are happening in it that are bad. And um, the more I've become negative, the more I just feel unmotivated and frustrated and, and negative. But then when I realize that and sort of counteract that and try and become more positive and focus on the good things in life, I just feel so much better. I feel so much more fulfilled. I feel happier. And so I'm trying to make a real point of that at the moment is sort of figuring out what my values are um, and then working out how I can move more into alignment with them. Because I think the more I do that, the better I'll feel and the more excited and passionate I'll be about life. So yeah, I hope, I hope that makes sense. It's, it's definitely something I'm gonna keep working on beyond this month, but um, yeah, that's, that's one life lesson I've learned this month. And then finally, my goals or a goal for next month the goal that I've come up with is fairly simple, but we'll see how we go because it's kind of hard work, which is to release eight videos on YouTube next month. Um, I want to get to releasing two videos a week. So far, I think my record was six in one month, something like that. I've never done a full month of two videos a week <clears throat> because it is quite um, quite a lot of work. So that's, that's the goal. I really want to try and go a little bit harder on YouTube this year. Um, if you've seen my review video, my, my channel grew quite a bit towards the end of last year, which is exciting to see. So I'm really keen to sort of give YouTube uh, another solid go this year and see where it ends up at the end of the year. Plus, I really want to use it as an opportunity to develop my own video skills, my video editing, my lighting, my just video in general, you know, because like, I'm, I'm really enjoying creating videos. Um, and it's something I really want to develop and grow in. So I think the more videos I can create, the, the faster I can learn and the faster I can get better at it. Um, and then it's just better all around. So that's my goal for next month. If at the end of the month you don't see that I've released eight videos, feel free to call me out and say, hey Nick, you said you'd release eight videos. Where are they? And I will say, I'm sorry, I was a, I was a bad boy. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't stick to what, I, what my goal was. Yeah, we'll see how we go. So yeah, if you watch to the end, let me know. I'd be really keen to hear if you've had any really cool things that you've uh, been using, uh, you've learned, whatever, over the past 30 days. Let me know in the comments. I'd be really keen to see what you guys have been up to. Um, other than that, I hope you have a really good day today and I'll see you very soon in the next video.